Hello everyone, this is Pauk's The Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today we continue working with the cashmere jacket. I'll show you how to stitch it. I'll stitch the center back first, and after that I'll stitch the shoulder seams. When I press the seams open, I'll cut the facing for the back and the sleeves. After that, I'll stitch the side seams. I don't think that I need to waste time telling you what we're going to do. I'd better show you everything. In the next video, I will show you how to stitch lining and facing. I want to tell you why I'm going to cut the overcast for the sleeves separately. These edges are not strong. They were cut not even on a bias grain, but somewhere in between it, lengthwise and crosswise grains. I'm going to cut the overcast separately for the sleeves to be stronger and of a beautiful shape. I'll show you everything very thoroughly. First I'll stitch the center back seam. I'm showing you everything so thoroughly for you to be able to sew different garments with lining. The techniques I'm showing you in these tutorials are very useful. Next, I need to press the seams open. I can't continue working without doing it. This wooden iron is very convenient to work with. I need to steam the seam in order to remove the faults from ironing. The seam is ready, now I can continue working. Do not forget to cut these angles. It would be much easier to work without them. Now I can start stitching the back to the front. Do not forget that there should be a notch here. It should be about 7 or 8 millimeters long. Here it is. I've already showed you what to do with it. The collar stand should be attached to the back neckline. Here it is. And the front shoulder to the back shoulder. The knot should be open in such way that the details match perfectly. I'm not going to take it now, I'll just pin it. If you make mistakes when sewing, you are either inattentive or you don't know the needed techniques. You can see that the sleeve details match perfectly. Perfect. The sleeves are absolutely even. When I pin the details, I'll stitch them. If you are not that confident in sewing, you can tuck the details before stitching. Please be very attentive. Don't stretch the sleeves when stitching them. They are cut not in a grain, so it's very easy to deform them. Don't hurry. The width of the seams should be 1 cm. The most important thing I'm going to show you is how to stitch the angle with the notch. Stitch to the very angle, then raise the foot leaving the needle inside and turn the detail. Now 
The width of the seam on the neckline is 7 mm. This is how this angle looks like from the front and from the back. This is how it looks like from the right side. This is a collar stand, which turns into a collar. I remind you that the seam isn't ironed yet. Next, I need to do the same thing with the second detail. I need to make a notch here and pin it to the back detail in the same way. The technique is absolutely the same. I remind you that I'm making a notch in the point where the collar stand turns into the shoulder. You should always teach these details the angle side up. This is why we're stitching the first detail from the sleeve to the collar. I'll stitch this detail vice versa. You should always teach the details front side up. You need to do it in order not to make mistakes. You need to see what you are doing. Don't be afraid of making mistakes if you work the way I show you. When I finish teaching this seam, I'll move to the ironing desk. Notice that all the details match. It's because I cut them accurately. Next, I need to stitch this seam. I've already cut the extra pieces. I need to stitch it now in order to press it open. I recommend taking seams before stitching if you don't have much of experience. I stitched the collar stand on the center back. I need to press this seam open in order to finish stitching the collar stand to the back neckline. Now I need to move to the ironing desk to iron the seams I just stitched. When I do it, I'll show you what to do next. The order of actions is very important. First I need to press the shoulder seam open. I stop when I reach the notch. Please, be very careful and attentive when ironing the jacket. I remind you that the seams were not cut on a grain, so it's very easy to deform them. I press the seam open. Don't press it too hard, though. This side is okay, but I need to cut a small piece here in order to iron the seam accurately. That's it. Now I can continue working. If you don't cut the extra piece here, you won't be able to make this part fit you. The technique is the same for any collars which are attached to the garments. This is a very useful technique. Have a look at the seam from the right side. It's very beautiful. It's soft and this will fit me perfectly. Next I need to press open the center back seam on the collar stand. Do not forget to cut the angles of the seams right after ironing them. Now I can go to the sewing machine to stitch the left piece of the collar stand. I need to make sure that the center back seams match. I pin the details. There's just a small piece left to be stitched. The most important thing is that the center back seams should match.
The width of the seam should be 7 mm. I don't recommend making 1 cm seams on the necklines. I need to check if the seams match. They do. Next, I need to go back to the ironing desk to press the seams open. Notice that there are actually three seams here. It's not seam from the right side, because I cut the angles right after stitching. This is what I did it for. Let's go to the ironing desk to press the seam open. The thing is that not only this seam, but all the other ones as well shouldn't be thick. This is the back neckline. It's very important not to make this seam straight when ironing it. Iron it the way it is. That's all for today. Next time we'll continue working with this jacket. My name is Pauk Štirina. Be different and beautiful. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.